Great to see you here at Discount Store TV. Uh, we are the home of the demonstration. We have some amazing demonstrations for you of some brilliant products, and you're going to see one of those today. Uh, we've got a fantastic fella here, Kevin. It's lovely to see Excellent, you, Kevin. Simon. You're all right, mate. Yeah, uh, we've got our push whisk. Uh, this is an incredible thing. Just show us what this can do, Kev. Well, it's fantastic. It's made out of stainless steel. Yeah. And when I press this down, it spins five times. Yeah. And when it pops up, another five. Can you see I've got millions of bubbles? Look at that. Thousands of bubbles. And it's no effort, that at all, no, is it? No, not at all, no. The reason I've got thousands of bubbles are these circles on the side. OK. Now, this gives you 1,200 revolutions. So you've literally got thousands of bubbles coming out like this. That's brilliant because you can just do amazing things. Yeah. You know, bake some cakes, Yorkshire yeah. puddings. We'll get onto that in a moment. Sure. But watch this. This is skimmed milk. Right, skim it's, milk. Yeah, 0.1% fat. There's hardly any fat in it, nothing yeah. to... Uh, to bind it together. And watch what it does to skim milk, because I think this is absolutely amazing. Just get up to the uh, the red line there. Okay, so this is just common garden skim yeah, milk. Get skim it from milk. the supermarket. I don't know if you've ever had a glass of skim milk. Doesn't taste too much, does no, it? You wish you hadn't bothered. Yeah. <laughs> Should have had yeah. a glass of water. <laughs> yeah. Watch this. Press it up and down a few okay. times. Now I started off on the red line. I've now got half a pint. We've now got nearly three quarters of a pint. That is ridiculous. There's actually moo cows queuing up outside the local job centre <laughs> looking for a job after this, but watch this. It's now so thick, so creamy, Can and so change. frothy that you can barely pour it out of a jug. Now remember, that was skimmed milk only a second ago, but look at this now. Isn't that amazing? 0.1% fat, nothing to bind it together. And look at that. I tell you what, the kids would go crazy for Isn't that, that, wouldn't fantastic? they? Well, milkshakes, obviously. Milkshakes, uh, brilliant. Angel Delight. Bring it back. Do you remember Angel Delight? I loved it. Which is your favourite flavour? Oh, strawberry. That to be strawberry. Chocolate. My wife likes butterscotch. I knew you had class. <laughs> now then, next time your friends come round for coffee, watch. Pour the coffee through the cream. Yeah. Now the cream will rise to the top. Look at that. The milk watch that actually literally makes a separate layer in the middle and uh, the coffee's at the bottom. Isn't that incredible? It certainly is. And if you sprinkle chocolate on top there, well, your friend Simon will think they've gone round the wrong house. They, 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 really will. <laughs> they will do. They'll come round for a cup of coffee. Isn't that brilliant? Well, that is beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that stunning? Fantastic. And that's just skim milk S and that whisk. Skim milk, the whisk and some coffee. Incredible. Yeah, bake cakes, Yorkshire puddings, yeah. pancakes. I don't know if you've ever been to uh, your local takeaway, Chinese curry. Yeah. Now, if you had boiling water, Yeah. You buy that in any Chinese yeah, supermarket, yeah. it's exactly the same really? as you get in any Chinese takeaway. Honestly, fantastic. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, so, well, watch this. Two capfuls of skim milk. Let's get it back up to about a third of a pint. And then you get yourself an egg. Right. Now, dice a tomato, a spring onion, and a mushroom. Round our way, they don't know this, but these things are called vegetables. <laughs> now, one egg, dice of tomato, a spring onion and a vegetable, and whisk it up. And one egg will fill a giant-sized pan with the healthiest omelette you'll ever eat in your life. Now, if anybody wants to lose weight as well after Christmas, that's the best way to do it. Isn't that fantastic? You feel like you've eaten loads, when in fact all you've eaten is one single egg. Brilliant. That, that's amazing. The, the volume that you get through using this whisk is incredible. And you say it's down to the uh, the, to the circular holes yeah, there, those, the way that they've made the, the wires. Side. There comes the washing up. Look at this. And don't tell the wife it's this easy to do the washing <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, I spent ages washing up. I spent absolutely ages. It, it's well, as it's simple true. as that. Unless you're some sort of amazing sort of, I don't know, kung fu chef. Yeah. You can't get the sort of volume you get, you know, using this whisk. Yeah. It's fantastic. No, they are difficult to use, those balloon whisks, are loads they? of different things you should try. This, this is um, a tin of tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. Mix that with paprika, two spoonfuls of paprika. Yeah. Two spoonfuls of honey. Really? Yeah. yeah. Whisk it up and drop some uh, lamb or chicken in that. It tastes like heaven on earth. Really? And it takes you a second to make it. I mean, my personal favourite, I don't know, do you ever go to the pub? Once or twice, Kev. Now, have you ever walked out of a pub and said, I could murder an orange? I could just do <laughs> with a nice orange, because I don't know if you're anything like me, but I've got to have, I've got to have a kebab, a chicken oh. kebab or a doner kebab. Doner kebab. Not that I ever go to pubs, you know, yeah. that, unless it goes dark. <laughs> yeah. I don't go to pubs. Yeah. But uh, if you mix that chilli sauce with writer, OK? Yeah, I yeah, have I that know. with absolutely everything. Really? Whisk it up, it tastes fantastic. So it's just adding that extra volume That's right. to it. You're getting more for... Yeah, but not only like that, there are certain things, you know, if you've, if you've got soy sauce, for example, yeah. 
and black bean sauce. Now, I don't know if, any, if you know, you go to a Chinese restaurant, black bean sauce, it tastes fantastic. Mm. Uh, you get it out of a jar, I don't know, some supermarket jars, yeah. it tastes uh, not very good, shall yeah, we say. Absolutely. So half a jar of black bean sauce, right. half soy sauce, yeah. and then half the juice of a lime and you whisk it up and it is exactly the same as you get in the Chinese In the, take in the takeaways. Also, that's how it works. Cakes, oh, bake some cakes. What happened to baking cakes, folks? Let's bake some fantastic. Yorkshire puddings are so light. Yeah. They actually float. You can see them. <laughs> you can see them they, floating they float out back to pocket. Yorkshire. That's, they go yeah. back to Yorkshire. And, and no soggy come, bottoms, you can Kev. Shit, that's right. Nobody likes a soggy bottom. Nobody likes it. They certainly don't. That's incredible. They don't like that anymore. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just watch what it does. I mean, even to coffee, ordinary coffee. Yeah. Do we have some coffee somewhere? Yeah. Um, there we are. Yeah, have you got some over there? Yeah. So, just to show you what it does, just to yeah. give you some example, um, a little bit of water in there as well. Sure. And it just gives you loads of volume. So even a tiny little bit of water in there like that. Perhaps. So there's only what, about a centimetre of water yeah. there. So there's hardly anything. A little bit of coffee in yeah. there. Yeah, a little bit of instant coffee. And just press it up and down. So it's dead easy. You're not, you know, draining and straining. You're not some sort of Kung Fu chef, yeah. like say. So. Just press that up and down a few times. And that's just Look coffee that, and water. straight away. And it literally sets like that. So yeah, angel delight. You know what happens to the oval teams? They never bought a whisk. That's why they don't <laughs> exist anymore. They got worn out. I mean, just look at that. That is fantastic, isn't it? And that's ordinary coffee. Isn't that incredible? And again, there's your washing up. Now, honestly, I am no chef by any stretch of the imagination. This came out of uh, more out of necessity than yeah. anything else. I learned to cook, but, uh, you know, bake cake. You know, Sunday dinner, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no more lumpy gravy. Ex closely just followed by, you know, lumpy custard. Uh, Do you know that what I think is amazing with, with this is you, when you're in the kitchen, you think that you have to have a million and one things to do a million and one different jobs. You have your, your whole kitchen cluttered with bits and pieces here and there, and it takes up all your counter work. This, how many different jobs is it? Well, that's it's right. countless that's the right. amount of things it that this is going to do for you. Clean. You exactly. Great, you'll see a, a cafe with a great machine at the back yeah. doing the same job. You know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, those great big machines take hours to clean. These are fantastic. Just run it under the tap. And away you I was go. going to ask you, Kev. I'm left-handed. Yeah. Is that all right for me? Yeah. Well, you can same as a left-handed <laughs> screwdriver. Left-handed, <laughs> yeah. right-handed. Yeah. yeah. Bake some cakes, like I say, Yorkshire puddings, pancakes, yeah. Angel Delight. Make the kids a milkshake. Uh, these these coffees, fantastic. Uh, you know, everyone's getting dead posh. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. So these posh coffees are fantastic. Whisk them up, and you know, hot chocolate, obviously, oh, because it be fits fantastic. in a mug as well. I tell you what, Kev, will you, you know, do me a favour? For one person. Will you do the milk again for me? Yeah, sure, yeah. Because I, I, I think that is an incredible sure, yeah. demonstration. Oh, we love our demos. Well. Do you know these coffees? I do. You take the lid off. Yeah. And they fit on any other lid of anything else. So dog you're food, of, cat food. You're full of good tomatoes, ideas. Tomatoes, keeps at that. everything fresh. How good is that? Look at that. You're overcome with emotion. I am. Where's with emotion. I do, am. Just let me just grab another. Um, yeah. Just clean this out then. Yeah. We'll let's do that frothy milk again. Yeah. Let's see the milk because I think that's a fantastic demonstration. That's the fantastic. wonderful thing about here, uh, is that we have the best demonstrators giving you the best demonstrations. Mm. But you can do it at home. This isn't just when you're out and about and you watch these guys doing their stuff at the ideal home show, all these different places. You can do this at home. Can't they? Yeah, Everybody they can, can do yeah. this. Everybody can do it, honestly. I mean, I am not a chef by any stretch of the imagination. Literally, I'm only a demo. In fact, all this came out of um, necessity because my ex, a long, long time ago, yeah. um, she couldn't cook. She really? was great at everything. She was fabulous at, uh, at rugby and things. <laughs> In fact, she got sent off uh, <laughs> against Wakefield Trinity <laughs> when the scrum collapsed. <laughs> yeah. And she was so angry that yeah. she... Um, she burnt the salad. <laughs> so uh, from then on, I've always done the cooking. <laughs> and all you do, again, start off again, start off at the bottom. Uh, remember, it's on the red line, I've now got half a pint. So there's hardly anything. That's right. That much Beautiful. skim milk. This is what we're talking about, folks. It puts volume, it puts air into things. So, yeah. Am I right in saying that we have to have the milk cold? Yeah, it's true that, yeah. It's a good idea to leave it cold. It froths up a whole lot yeah. more. But I think we're haunted. What's this? <laughs> Look at, that. look at that. Incredible. Isn't that amazing? Just to give you some idea, folks, how much volume that puts just into ordinary skim milk. And again, where was the coffee? There we are. We'll pour that on top. Look at this. You're overcome with emotion again. I am. You? I tell you what. This oozes panache. <laughs> you are a magician. Fantastic. Look at that. Fantastic. Well, I tell you what, Kev, we have now got our price. Look at that. It's incredible. You can get one of these for just... 
20 pounds. It's yours. You can get one. You can do all these amazing things and more that Kevin has told you about. You can do it in your home. But I tell you what, uh, this is Discount Store TV. You always get something free. Do you know this, Kev? You always get something free at Discount Store TV. Well, it's going to get a whole lot better because you're going to get that amazing whisk for 20 pounds, but we're not finished. There's another whisk here. You're going to get that absolutely free of charge. So now you're not just getting one whisk for 20 pounds, you are going to get two of these whisks. So you can give one to a friend, give one as a present. They will be over the moon. But I tell you what, Kev, we're not finished. We've got something else. Get ready for this. This is a double bubble, this one. Yes. Not only are you going to get a free whisk, a buy one, get one free, but we've got an incredible knife sharpener here as well. This is going to be absolutely free of charge as well. Kev, have you got any demonstrations yeah, you can do with this? That, You're going to get this for nothing. These are brilliant. Absolutely yes. amazing. Now, I don't know if you know about this, but in England, everything is disposable. If you buy yeah. a knife, if you buy anything, you'll throw it away you'll buy another one, throw that away and buy another one. Uh, literally all over, the, all over the world, people sharpen knives. Mm. You know, if you buy a knife, this knife, uh, for example, costs 17 pounds. I was gonna say, dear so, knife that, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to throw it away. So, just to give you some example, you don't want to throw the knife away, so hold this in your hand like this. These two, two teeth here are made out of tungsten carbide. Yeah. It's one of the hardest things we know about. And all you do is draw the knife through the two teeth. I can takes hear off the that old now. Edge, yeah. yeah. Takes off the old edge of any knife and it will maintain a razor sharp edge on your knife. Now to refine it, to refine the actual sharpness, you draw it through the second one like this. Right, right. And that actually takes off any tiny little burrs that might be sticking out the side. Sure. And even more, the third one. Now, I'd actually advise, just use the first two because any sharper than that, when you do the washing up with it, you nip your fingers. Yeah. So I'd just use the first two. Yeah. But, you know, being the professional that I am, uh, draw it through the third one as well. That's and it will maintain, amazing. honestly, a razor sharp edge on just about anything at all. Um, garden shears, scissors, lawnmower blades, you know, without taking the blade of a knife of a lawnmower out. Anything that fits between those between two, those two, two yeah. just draw them through like that. So garden shears and scissors, lawnmowers. This knife, this one, cost a pound. On pound. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I said about everything in England being disposable? Yeah. Well, if you go to a shop with pound in the name, they'll sell you a knife for a pound. Yeah. Uh, they don't tend to be particularly sharp, no, do they? No, not the best. No. But draw it from heel to toe. The tiny little metal burrs that come off there, you'll be able to see. Yeah, them. I can see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, again, draw it through the second one as well, just to maintain that sharpness. And it'll maintain a razor sharp edge on a knife that costs a quid. Look at that. Like an absolute razor blade. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, are you paying anything for this? No, you're not. This is absolutely free. You're going to get, where's one of our whisks? You're going to get that for free, and you're going to get the knife sharpener for free as well. So you end up ending up with two of the fantastic whisks and the knife sharpener for that price of £20 plus your postage. It is an incredible deal. All you've got to do is jump on the phone. 0800 689 1679. That's a free phone number and you can get this winging its way to your door. It's a, that is a good deal, fantastic, isn't it, mate? Fantastic. You don't even need a whisk assessment. That's even better than one of Michael's, that is. Well done, mate. Can you do so something else with the, uh, with the whisk? Just, yeah, get sure. a, just show us again well, just, just how just to recap, amazing that basically, is. Basically, all you've got to remember is you're pressing it down yeah. and it pops back up. I get it turns five times, so another five on the way up. Yeah. But because of the circles, that's 12,000 revolutions. Okay, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. Fantastic. Yeah, baked cakes, Yorkshire puddings, pancakes, angel delight. What do we do with that? Um, oh, we've got the coffee there, there as well. There. Yeah. All you've got to worry about is who you're going to give the other one to, because that is free, and that amazing knife sharpener is going to be free. The three stage I knife sharpener. I can't sharp believe you're giving stuff away. As it's well. incredible, isn't it? It's, it really is incredible. Well, jump on the phone 0800 689 1679, and you can be doing this in seconds in your kitchen as well. Kev, it's been a pleasure, mate. Thanks a lot. Hopefully, see you again soon. See you soon. Keep folks. on watching.